Thank you for joining me on this episode of Highway Spec. My name is Trent. We're going to jump right into today's spec build. So what are we specking out today? It is the vehicle that they just did the first drive on, so we kind of know more of what to expect. And I think that works out really well for this instance because we are going to spec out the new Dodge Hornet. Do the Hornet's Nest. There is a reason why we're going to build one out now, even though the RT model is not available yet. And that is because most of the reviews that I read said that the GT model is actually better for the fact that it makes more power. Now, on paper, the RT does make more power with its 1.3 liter plug-in hybrid powertrain. However, that is with an overboost function that is only available for a short amount of time. And the GT model has its power at all times with the two liter Hurricane inline four. So we're actually going to spec out the GT model, even though it's not the performance model. So looking at the difference between the GT and the GT Plus, right here we've got the LED headlights, which the Plus model has. It has navigation and Harman Kardon premium audio system and premium weather interior with ventilated and heated front seats with memory and sunroof. All features that you don't usually get in something this size and also it does have a power lift gate and wireless charging. Things that a lot of people I think would like to have the nicety. So it is $5,000 more, but we're gonna go ahead and select the GT Plus. First thing, the front end, not my favorite. I don't love the look of the front end. I prefer the Alfa Romeo's front end to this. I've seen worse. I've seen better. With that in mind, I'm gonna choose black because black just tones down the lines you don't see them as much and so it looks better in my opinion so we're gonna go with eight ball black exterior paint and because of that we can get a complete blackout package if we want with the black 18 inch wheels and that adds looks like the GT black top package so we're gonna go ahead and add that and you can see it is definitely blacked out Look at that, that actually looks pretty decent. You actually look pretty decent. All right, I am a bit old fashioned. I would actually like a compact spare tire. So we're gonna go ahead and add that for $350. Now being that it's all blacked out on the outside, I actually would like a little pop of color. So we're gonna do the red full leather seats, especially since it only adds $495. It does come standard with the Uconnect five navigation system with a 10.25 inch touchscreen pretty large given the class of vehicle and like i mentioned earlier that gt plus does give us the power sunroof all right so we only have a couple of packages to choose from you've got the gt blacktop package which i mentioned gives you the dark badge gives you the black wheels dark hornet badge gloss black all around that that's pretty self-explanatory all the manufacturers are doing a blacked out pack one form or another Next up, we have the Tech Pack without parallel and perpendicular park assist. So it gives you the active driving assist system, drowsy driver detection, intelligent speed assist, park sense front and rear, and surround view camera system. Now, the surround view camera system is the thing that I would honestly be most interested in. After reading some of the reviews, the active driving is okay. It's definitely not top of the class by any means. So I think I'm gonna just skip right over that, save some costs because as soon as this thing hits $40,000, suddenly it's not as appealing in my opinion. Which does mean we are gonna skip the track pack as well, which gives you the 20 inch wheels, red brake calipers, gives you different pedals. The dual mode suspension is pretty cool. So having something at this price point that gives you an adjustable suspension is pretty unique. Again, gonna try and stay away from that $40,000 mark. So if I were to buy one of these, it would definitely have to be sub 40 and probably throw some discounts on the hood. No discount. But like I mentioned, the GT model comes with the two liter direct injected, turbocharged four cylinder, hurricane motor is what Dodge calls it. So that one actually has the most horsepower in its class and is paired exclusively with a nine speed transmission and all wheel drive. So I think that's all that I've got for it. $38,930, what do you think? Is that just way too much? Is that just right? We went blacked out on the exterior with the red leather interior on the GT Plus model. What do you think of that spec? What would you do differently? Make sure to drop a comment below and I will catch you on the next one.